How pleased are you with that comeback and with that win? I was pleased with the first half. Um, I, th I thought that we moved the ball really well. I said to the players at half time, if you give good opposition opportunities, um, they're going to punish you. And I thought that's what happened. I thought we were more than more than in the game in the first half. We just needed to be a little bit tighter at times, um, a little bit more switched on. But I thought in the second half we stepped onto the game a little bit more. But in both periods, I thought we played with a bit of tempo, a bit of pace. Um, and I'm glad that we got our rewards at the end because I thought that we were more than more than equal to them in the first half. To defeat the Brazilian champions is pretty impressive though, isn't it? It is, but let's take it for what it is. They made lots of changes and lots of disruptions, but we've stepped up to the game and actually I thought we took the game to them really well. So we'll take real positives from this. It's been a great experience being out here. It's been good for the players to bond, but winning can be a habit. And I'd like to get into that winning habit and I think the players would as well. Have you got more of an idea about your starting 11 after these two games? I've got more of an idea of what a headache I've got because I, th I, think, I think everyone's brought something to the party. Everyone who played, everyone who participated has added something to the collective and that's what we want. We want more, more good players in the squad pushing and, and improving the people around them and challenging for places because if we get that, training will be better, games will be better um, and hopefully if we react to it in a positively, positive way, um, we can push ourselves to a, to a higher plane than the one that we currently uh, inhabit. And what about Alfredo Morales? He's got such a natural instinct, hasn't he? He's, he's just a happy guy because he scores goals and, and we wanted to get that from him but I thought he was, he was bright, he was lively um, but I thought all the attacking players were. I thought that the, the two guys that gave him his goals Murph had a really good combination with Daniel Candeas. Sean Goss's delivery was really, really good. But I thought overall their general understanding, considering they haven't really played together a lot, was really good and really pleasing for me. So the more that we can get together, the more that we can train together, next week's going to be really good. The more that we can train together, the better they'll understand one another, the more fluid that will become. But I thought some of it was really good. Andy Halliday is one player who's probably got a point to prove to you. And he's got a goal this afternoon as well. Yeah, but it's not in the league, is it? <laughs> no, it's 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 good because he got into the box really well. But I think what we have to do, we have to understand the eleven that are going to play are represented in the whole squad. So the whole squad have to really push on and really take what we're doing to a, to a higher level. I've said to them all the way through, it's not their highest standard that will define us. It won't dictate where we finish in the league. It's where we allow ourselves to drop down to on a day-to-day -day basis. If we keep that standard high collectively, and it can't just be me, then we will get better. And I think we'll get better from what you just see. And now, at the end of the week, are you glad you came out here? Are you glad you played this tournament? Yeah, we, 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 we took it because what we took it for, the staff and the players, we took it as an opportunity uh, and we took it in a positive manner to go and actually lay some really good groundwork for the second half of the season. What we have to do, we have to ensure we take the positive feeling that we've got right now and the positive bonding that we've had and we take it into the second half of the season. It will be challenged. It will be challenged when we have negative results or things aren't going quite our way. What we have to do is draw back upon this experience um, and keep that with us so that when it becomes difficult, we know what we've got in reserve and we know that we're together and we know that we're strong and we know actually We've got some really, really good players that are pushing on now, so hopefully we can take that positive spirit back home.